Hello world, welcome back. We're going to continue off where we left off in the last, or continue where we left off in the last episode. Um, we are about to enter the keep in Cade Nua, Nua. So let's continue on. Huh? Okay. Sorry if that's a little loud. The old watcher. I was assuming that this person would be dead. Clearly of a deer and make. They like their archways. Yes. Grave Dalfilathilim. So this is the whispers of you when it's okay. Reliable slaying spirit, but it, it, you lose will with it. Okay, okay. Um, we're definitely gonna give that to her. Well, that's the question now. What does she currently have? That's fine, Steel. And he is maimed, so we need to camp. We need to not camp, apparently. It's not a very large area, so there can't be too many fights. Indeed. Oh, okay. That's how they're going to do it. They're going to make it a much larger area than it appears. Um. Yeah. You just stay sure. Back here. Oh. On your word. Hmm. What? I? Okay. 
Can I camp in here? Nope. All right, we gotta go out. Certainly. This gaming system is so different than Baldur's Gate, the old Dungeons and Dragons 2, D&D 2 Ed, 3 Ed stuff. Though I am seeing similarities with 5th edition. Okay, let's rest. And hope this is enough to get us by. How much experience are we away? A good bit. Two mains are good. He's good. All right. So we need that both of y'all to be third. But it looks like all my others will be fourth before they're third. We're going to go ahead and clear out the first area before we go back into the what looked like a library. Gray and brown pelts of mice flit between the boards. All right. As you come to the end of the Great Hall, you perceive an inviting, an inviting warmth radiating from the Grand Throne rot uh, out of marble. It's masterful artistry, out of place amidst the castle's more practical stonework. The veiled face of a woman is carved above the throne's backing, watching over the room with hollow eyes. At your approach, you feel the warmth fluctuate as though stirring. A voice rings out from the carving, permeating the fortress through the stone and air. Another, Another watcher in Cadnua, glowing very brightly indeed to these eyes. What strange happenstance. As am I. If you should happen to find him, I would be glad to know of it. Each day his absence brings new dust to my halls, new cracks to my stones. It's... it's shameful is what it is. The Earl would never have let it come to this. You are free to search for him here. I will unbar the way. Not as a land is its laws, more as a child is its mother's. This castle was my design, you see. The Earl appointed me to do it. I was getting on in years. I knew it would be my only chance to build something magnificent. When it was built, I couldn't bring myself to part from it, to go back to my lonely home. I begged the Earl to let me stay, to take care of it. It was all I wanted, and he granted it. Years later, when Bareth Sasha finally came calling, I begged the Earl to find a way to let me remain, and so he did. He was a great man. He came here one day, young with long hair and polished armor, and he banished the dark things that had come to lurk in this place after centuries of neglect. He could see the beauty of this place, the way it had been, so he claimed it for his own when no one else would take it. We worked together to restore it. But he began to grow distant some time ago. He never told me why. He retreated deeper and deeper into the keep, never leaving, sending servants for food, hiding himself from my sight. The restoration stopped. Now to look at the place. 
You'd never know the progress we've made. In most places, it's worse than it ever was. And all I can do is watch it crumble around me. I can feel his presence faintly somewhere deeper inside the keep. But he uses his gifts to confound me, and my senses are dulled while he does so. I only wish I could know his mind. Imprisoned? At times it feels that way, I suppose. But it's more that I reside here. The throne was brought up from the ruins, one of the first things they found. As a last favor to a dying woman, the Earl arranged for me to be moved into it. Audra is an accommodating vessel for a soul. Oh, it's not as confining as it seems. I can feel the whole keep from here, and all things that are tied to it. There's something about this throne and its construction. Or maybe it's something about this place. The Earl of Yenwood. The original, in fact, when Deerwood was a colony. He found this site, the only ruin Air Glanfarth refused to defend, and he believed its wealth would be great. <coughs> the keep was his way of defending his family's claim, and that claim became his obsession. He had to know what lay beneath. He devoted his life to excavating the ruins below the keep. They had been sealed with rock and soil. Deliberately, it would seem. Years passed, and with them the Earl. He dug his entire life and never found what he sought. His obsession became his sons and his sons' sons. And one day, that young Earl broke through. An endless maze, incomprehensible in its construction. But he would never come to learn more than that. Vile things had taken residence there. Vile and dangerous. They poured up through the keep and slew its residents, the Earl among them. After that, the keep remained abandoned, unused, wasted. Meowal's mastery of this place was the first hope I'd had in 200 years. I can only guess why all this has happened. I fear I've wronged the gods putting this place here, and they've doomed me to watch it wear away into dust, to witness my own folly. Take care in your sir. All right. Exposition done. Let's see what lies this way. Nothing in the treasury. I'm just gonna have to go back and
Okay, so I've seen everything. Spiders are taking up residence in empty shelves. So on toward the maze it is. There's my little soldier. What is she leading us into? Some form of prison with a mirror wall down in it? Or is it something Praise more serious? Yes. On your word. Holy crap. All right. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I shall. Health, wonderful. Silver trails of slug clinging inside the barrels. Wonderful. Grave thou feelest you leave. Spectral man air raid in armor <clears throat> and an officer's cloak studies a single sheet of paper. You can see straight see straight through it to the decal and aid your insignias on the breastplate. He seems to read over the page several times before looking up at you. When he does, his expression is unreadable. There's been a change of plans. Take your squad and march south all the way to the bow in the river. Bring a wagon team and a dozen barrels of pitch. 
The instructions come from Admet Hatred himself, which means they might as well have come from the Duke. We're to burn those hut dwellers out. Set fire to the Deerwood so they've nowhere to retreat. Cut them down when they come out. Or let them blaze if they won't. It'll make this even shorter than the Broken Stone War, all right. And we can only hope it'll discourage future conflicts. I know this is personal for you. It is for many of us. But understand, we're doing this to end this war, not to continue the last one. Remember that we're flushing out the enemy, not burning villages for sport. Bareth will have his work cut out for him tonight. Since Baldur's Gate came out, I believe fantasy has gotten a lot darker and richer, deeper, <clears throat> and I think this game reflects that a lot. The endless paths of Odd Nua Level One, wonderful. We'll take those farmers by surprise. Almost time. Die and Heather scouted the village last night. They're rounding up the rest of the party now. Don't worry. Everyone remembers the raid was your idea. The Rio had to go along with it after you'd gotten the rest of the clan riled up. No one wants it said that the Nine Claws were too cowardly to stand with the rest of the tribe when the foreigners desecrated our ruins. You may not like them, but they're still our elders for now. That was clever drawing the support of the community first by the time you approached the Rio. They had no choice but to support us. There's no doubt you'll join their rank one day. So long as no farmer's picked fort fells you tonight. The tribes need more leaders like you. Women who value deeds over words. You were right. We were too soft when the foreigners first came, and now they humiliate us. We'll be soft no more, and the... Away from us. Leave us. All at once he stops shaking. A sudden, a sudden calm is falling over him. His head tilts forward slightly and he looks you dead in the eye, like a cornered animal about to pounce. His voice turns suddenly raspy. Mayor Wald isn't here, and he isn't fooled. He has sent for no callers. Be gone, deceiving spirit! Mayor Wald will speak with you, but you will maintain your distance, or you'll have me to answer to. Come to speak to Mayor Wald. Mayor Wald, whose touch is poison. Mayor Wald, who knows not his effect. A window, window to the ether where spirits dwell. Hear and reach into it, speak and listen through it. A watcher sees souls, reads them, knows their pasts, souls of the living, souls of the dead, an empath, and the souls see them back. Used it to help beings in both realms, did I. What the gods wanted of me, thought I. The gods put me in the world for vengeance, and I obliged. It was the gods' wishes that we protect those lands. My way was the only way to remove the foreigners. Little I knew.
No. No! Forgive me! Forgive me! Lost? No. Found more of it. Too much. Too much to bear. An awakening. Something reminds. Memories stirred. Memories before birth. Other bodies. Other times. Memory. Personality. Identity. Any might resurface. Or all. Ghosts of the mind. Meowald has lost control. Meowald's body no more. Spirits and not spirits. Always whispering to Meowald, reminding him of his mistakes. No sleep. Watchers see memories before them, form them from the essence of their own souls. Once Meowald awakened, he could not make them leave. Gave them more form, not less. Troubled memories, angry memories, pulling Meowald back, reminding him his mistakes. Marauder and soldier, soldier and marauder, how could they know? Fragmented are memories. Stuck in time, mindless, cruel, never far. My fault, all my fault. Soldier and marauder, soldier and marauder and Mayor Walt. No forgiveness for what's past. No one doing what's done. No sleep, no war there was all around. War of stone, war of truth. War of tree. Oh, of course, the broken stone war and the war of the black trees. This is early period of uh, Adrian colonization. Fighting between the Deerwood colonists and the native clan Phantons, you see. But that was a long time ago. Death we brought to the settler men. We, the Nine Claws, Claws of Nine. Worse, what we did to the women. For love of the gods. The gods' love. For their love. Hold her down. Head her. Give this Addy a bitch an heir that belongs an heir, Gladfath. <laughs> His soul is marked by flame, and thus marks and those marks will never heal. His trial has broken him. But better that than to live in weakness. The baby boy, the boy, conceived in the raid, conceived by force, vessel for Marauder, slain in the raid, Marauder and the boy, Marauder and soldier. For the soul, the Marauder's soul, same soul, one soul, boy's soul. Marauder's soul, raised in lies and vengeance. Raised to soldier. Raised for the fire. Born for the... You'll get no pity from me. The crimes of the Nine Claws clan in the last war are still unavenged. But the gods are just. They have led me here. In my father's name, every one of you will burn. Light it.
baby, I should just crypt ban. Soldier and marauder, lies and vengeance, and dead villages. All dead. All dead. What for? What for? Little we know. Oh no, 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 no. You too. Poor man, poor man. They will take you too. Told you a watcher's not to be trusted. <clears throat> what's to be expected when one makes a habit of seeing what's not meant for mortal eyes, if not madness? Looks as though our journey together may be a short one. So fragile the Watcher's mind. So real his memories. Once awakened, how can he sleep? You were reminded of it. Strong memories. Lingering lives, they dwell near the surface, waiting to be remembered, waiting to take your mind. Meowald sat at his hearth and watched his fire, watched the wood burn. Then came the memory of another fire and burning wood and screams. Fragmented are memories, stuck in time. Mindless, cruel, never... F no. Always there. Always remembered. Can't forget. Can't unsee. Keys of lead. Books of burden. Queens that were. Known to me are they. The leaden key. The leaden key. It seems we share an enemy, Cat Seven. Assassins and Watcher Wakers both. They certainly keep busy. Secrets, secrets, and deceptions, and schemes. Who knows their answers? Not they. Not they crossed them before hatred of watchers hatred and fear much we see threat to secrets Woodica goddess crown shattered and body burned binder of oaths and grudge holder bearer of justice but whose Many secrets do they keep. Unawaken? Mayhap. Who else if not they? City of Defiance. Never far from the Queen. Sleep well. S Hold! I knew your will die. Your actions were seen. You would sooner betray us to the Adia land thieves than take orders from me. Your betrayal is for nothing. Your warnings are lost on these foreigners, and their blood will be craved of philosophy. Yeah? Hmm?
Hi. Ah. You something else. Ah. Worthy. Ah. Ah. Worthy. Seriously. Oh. How may I help? Yes. 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 How may I help? Oh. Hi. Ah. ah. Not quite. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm pretty screwed here. somehow there's a change in the air of the keep that was thick and suffocating what was thick and suffocating feels to you somehow more breathable as though yielding a <coughs> to a conquered invader Marowal's body lies inert you can feel his soul lingering there so uh, uh, uncertain there's something unique about his soul in this place a bond formed in decades of inhabitants and lordship that feels somehow palpable to you. Palpable to you. As though even in death the keep knows its former master and the former master remembers his keep. In your mind's eye, the bond seems to you as a frayed rope, ghostly and alive. Its frayed ends writhing like a tide pole. <coughs> the rope. That seems like a cruel thing to do. Draw upon the energy of the rope itself, siphoning knowledge from the connection. I shall. A worn book lies on the table, its pages filled with nonsensical scrawls. I think we've been going for quite a while, so we're going to stop the stream or the stop the uh, 
recording here and we'll continue here in a few minutes.